Okay, uh, Stephen. Stephen, thank you for allowing me to show the audience what the hair transplant can be done, and um, it's completely transformed him. Is a uh, uh, really when you do it right, it's not just about density. There's about artistry, and you want to look so natural that no one know you've had surgery done, and um, it completely. Um, with a low set of hair and a full set of hair, it really framed the face better and brought back his handsome look and his youth as well. And I'm going to show the audience what uh, Stephen used to look like. And that's where he was. It's night and day you know, when you see it. And a lot of people think that advanced hair loss is not possible to restore the hair, but it can be done. Sometimes you're going to need more than one surgery. but. As you can see, for Stephen, we lower the hairline from the temple, so we want to be to frame the face vertically and a proportional vertically and horizontally as well. And then this slightly curved on both sides, and you see the handsome face come out. And you see with the lower set of hairline, slightly curved both sides, and look at that night and day. And again, look at that, and a close up. You see, we'll put a lot of single hair graft in front, followed by root of two, three, or four hair graft for bulk and volume. Look at that as well. And this is what I'm stealing this. And again, it's always real hair now. You can cut it, you can perm it, you can dye it, you can do anything with it. And this is that's a really nice, soft, uh, fine hair. And the fine hair, um, so it's, it takes a lot more than the thick hair to look dense, but he still have excellent density. But the other thing is the more finer the hair, the more natural it looks. And this is all his, from hair transplant. He hasn't taken any medicine for like, you know, Propecia and all that, Rogaine yet. Um, but I recommend for every patient if they can. So it's really um, good for maintenance after surgery. Thank you.